Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you four different ways you can get your data into NIME. I'm going to be focusing on the CSV reader node, which lets you read in CSV files, but the exact same method should work for the Excel reader as well. So the first and straightforward method is to simply drag the file from wherever you have it on your computer, just drag it into NIME and it automatically detects the file type. So if that was an Excel file, for instance, it's going to open up as the Excel reader node. But in this case, it's a CSV and it rightfully uses the CSV reader node. So you click on OK and your, da your data is read in. That's the first method. The second method is you drag the actual node. In the first case, we did not drag anything because it automatically saw that that was a CSV and so it brought the CSV node. But in this case, we drag the node and then we go in and we configure it to read from the local file system. And then we go to browse where the file is stored. So it's in my downloads folder and we click on it and press on OK. And the, the data is going to read in successfully. Now, the first two methods, there's a slight drawback. Well, there's two primary drawbacks. The first one is if you somehow move the location of that file, you're going to error out because NIME is not going to know where the file is stored. And this happens a lot with me and my downloads folder because I often clear it out. So I very well might just go in there next week and delete all the files there. And then this workflow kind of breaks. The second drawback is if you export this workflow and send it to someone, you're going to have to send them the file separately. Otherwise, they won't be able to use the workflow. The method I'm going to show you now kind of addresses both of these issues. So I'm going to get rid of this again. So now what you can do and what I generate and what I generally recommend is you actually copy the data and you put it in the folder for that workflow. So see, this workflow is called Scratchpad. And since it's not in a folder group, it just appears in my Nine workspace. So I click on it. And in here, I'm going to make a folder called Data. This works for any workflow you have. So now in here, you're going to double click and paste the file you copied before. So now if we drag the CSV reader, we're going to open it. And instead of reading from the local file system, we're going to read from relative to the current workflow data area. So it's going to look for a folder called data in the workflow. And then it's going to list for us all the files that are there. So if we had 15 files here, we can see all of them and just click on it the one we want and open, and then it's going to read in fine. Now, you're very unlikely to go into that data folder to delete stuff unless you intentionally wanted to get rid of that data because this data area is unique for your project. So it's very convenient for you to store your files here and the chances of you getting rid of your data files unintentionally are much lower than if you put them in a, in a generic place like the downloads folder. Secondly, if you export this workflow, and you send it to someone, they're going to have that data exported with the workflow. So you don't have to worry about them not being able to access the data. Now, finally, the last method I'm going to show you is using the web. So some websites could just list the data there. Like this is a CSV file. The data is just right there listed. Some other ones, you might see a link or you might see the Excel file and you can just copy that URL and paste it into NIME and NIME can go and actually download the data from that Excel file. Or in our case, the data is just there listed on the web page. So I just took the URL and I'm going to go here and I'm going to select custom slash NIME URL. I'm going to paste that URL here and it goes on the web. It grabs that data, it reads it in and you run this and you have your data. So those are the four primary methods I wanted to cover for you really quickly. I hope this was useful to someone. If you have any suggestions or notes you'd like to learn, let me know and I'll try my best to make that happen. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.